Hello everyone, in this video, I will explain you what do you mean by HMAC, that is Hash Message Authentication Code. In the previous video, we have learned about the concept of Message Authentication Code as well as Nested MAC. So now, this is the Hash Message Authentication Code, that is the standard version of your Nested MAC. So in that nested MAC, we have generated this message plus message authentication code two times. So we are, we are providing the more security with the help of this concept of nested MAC. Here, we are following the concept of this hash MAC that is hash message authentication code. This is also more complex than simplified nested MAC. So whenever we are generating the HMAC value, then it is difficult for the attacker to generate the original contents of the message. So now we will see how this HMAC will be generated. So what are the procedure while generating the HMAC that we will see now. So here there are two padding bits are there. That is iPad bit and the second one is OPAD bit. So the value of iPad bit is 36, 36. So this is your 16 bit value and in case of OPAD we are taking this 5 seeds multiple times that is our 16 bit value that is the base seeds 16. So whenever you have to use with that iPad value you are using this XOR operation and that will be padded with your B bit. If your message con consists of that is the data A, B, C, D, E. So we are dividing this message into number of different bits. So all bits will be separated and this one bit will be considered as a B bit. So our whole message is divided it into multiple chunks and this will be considered as a B bits. So all these B bits are taken together and this B bit that is coming from this iPad value and this will be XOR with your, this iPad value is XOR with your padded B bit and that is called as a share symmetry key. And this share secret key is shared between the sender as well as the receiver. If suppose Bob and Alice, these are the two users that are available in the communication, then they are sharing one common key between each other that is called as a share secret key or you can also write it as secret key and this secret key is share between each other so now here what will happen this ipad value is XOR with this B bit and this B bit will be increased according to our message size. Now we are applying this hash function on our data and that intermediate HMAC will be generated. And after using that intermediate HMAC value, we will get our B bits that is generated from this intermediate HMAC value with the help of this hash function. And now here again we are using the padded B bits and that key will be used here. The same key we are using here that is share secret key that is symmetric key and this key will be XOR with OPAD value. In the first step this will be XOR with the iPad value. In the second step this will be XOR with the OPAD value. And that is called as a 16 bit number. Now, after using the XOR function, you will get this B bit. So now we are appending this B bit that is generated in the second step with the OPAD XOR with the key and this B bit that we have taken it from the HMAC value. And now we will get the appended message and that message we are passing to the hash function and that hash value will be generated with the help of this intermediate HMAC value. 
and then we will get the final hash message authentication code so now what we have done here suppose we have one message we are first of all dividing our message into number of bits number of chunks that bits will be called as a b bits this will be xor with the ipad value and after applying the hash function we will get intermediate hmac value this value will be appended with the b bits that is generated from the xor operation of ipad value and the share secret key and then this whole message will be appended together and that will be again passed to the hash function and then after using this hash function on the intermediate hmac data we will generate a new hmac value that is our hash message authentication code so now here we are ensuring the more security as compared to nested mac so that's why this hash message authentication code is more complex than simplified nested mac value so in case of hash message authentication code we will ensure the authenticity of the sender and receiver as well as the integrity of the message so during the transit the message will not be altered so here this is the bob and this is the alice so whenever they are sending the message that is hello to each other then the hash value will be generated and this will be generated with the help of secret key and the previous hash value and the newly generated hash value will be compared together if both the values are match then this message will be authenticated and it will be accepted otherwise this message will be rejected so that is the procedure that will happen in the hmac process so the first of all message is divided it into n blocks that is called as each of b bits now the secret key is left padded with the zeros to create a b bit key then the result of the step 2 will be xor with the constant that is called as the ipad value that is called as the input pad to create a b bit block and this value of ipad is 36 in hexadecimal and the resulting block will be prepended to the n block message that is the result is n plus 1 block and in the step 4 we have taken the hash value that is a n bit digest message this digest is called as a intermediate digest that we have generated here now in the next step after generating the intermediate hmac value that will be padded with the zeros with the b bit of block that we have done here so you can check here we have padded this b bit with the intermediate hmac value and then what you are doing step 2 and 3 will be repeated till the different constant value will be there that is our output pad so here the output pad will be taken that is 5c in hexadecimal that we have taken here that is 5c and here we have taken this 36 the step 7 is prepended to block the step number 6 and the resultant step 8 will be hash with the same hashing algorithm to create a final h n bit hmac so here after appending all these two bits together we are again applying this hash function and we will get the final hmac value and due to this final hmac value our system is more secure and your data will be protected against the intruders or attackers